Hello everyone, this is Val from Val's Craft Creations and today we are going to be making some tea bag mini notebook. I was drinking some tea and I said, well, what can I do with this tea bag? So I decided that I'm going to be using these tea bags to create some um, fall mini notebook um this is my signature this each signature for each um notebook is gonna have 10 pages let me show you here so i have some um, avocado dye paper i also use the tea bag as one of my pages on each signature and some different um papers scrap paper that i have laying around so I will give you measurements um, in a minute, in a, in a second or two. But um, this is the tea bags that I'm gonna be um, using. And what I did, I just, you know, cut the top, took my bag out, and then tried to open up as, you know, as careful as possible so I didn't break it. And that will open your tea bag. And then for my, the packaging for my tea bag, which is this here. What I did, this one I didn't use. This one's where a tea that I didn't like. Um, so I, what I did, I just opened it and took the tea out. You know, the little leaves for the tea. Um, my daughter is gonna use it. We have a little strainer for tea to make tea. So she's gonna use them. And I just kept the bag. But you can also use the um, bag that you um, wet, you know, on your tea. You just have to let it dry and open it very carefully and take the tea out. And, you know, leave it to dry and then you can use it. But for me, it's easier just to take the tea leaves out of the bag before, you know, I use them. So this is gonna be my covers. This is for one of my notebook and this is the other one. This is the signature for this one and this is the signature for this one. And then my tea bags. I think, so people know that this is tea bag. I don't mind this, what it says here. So I'm gonna use this as my inside cover for my, you know, my notebook cover for the inside. I'm gonna use this side of my tea packaging, you know, to cover the inside cover. Let me show you the paper that I'm using. I found this at Hobby Lobby, it's Joyful, J Joyful Gathering, and it's like, it's, you know, it's fall related, but it uses blue and, you know, Colors that are not typical, that I have the typical colors plus blue. And I like that, it has some, some flowers. So the name of this paper pad is Joyful Gathering. Um, it was $21.99 regular price, but I pay half price. And I've been using this on different things um, for my store. I just did some embellishment and stuff for my um, Shopify and Facebook store. So that's why I got this paper. For this, I just using scrap paper that I had left from that project, from the project that I was making for my store. So just use whatever you have at home. And let's start it. Um, I'm gonna be using, I have my glue gun ready. I'm also gonna be using my crafter's pick. The, um, glue this is from apis and i got this one uh hobby lobby for 5.49 it's a very good um glue i really love it and you can use it on anything you can use it on paper plastic fabric you say gems and a lot of other stuff so let's get started let's start with this one. Oh, let me give you measurements i haven't given you measurements so my tea bags, I can of different sizes, but you know, it's depending on the size of your tea bag. But this one is five and five, eight by two and a half. 
and this one is five and a half by two and a half. Uh, my papers, I cut them for my signature five and a quarter by two and a half. My cover is two and a half. My cover is two and a half by six and a quarter because I want to do a flap for my, you know, to, for, to be able to close my little notebooks. So that's, that's the measurement. I also have, I, I kept the tea bag. You know the trim I may use them for closure. I had these fold buttons that I may use to for my closure. I may add these little charms that my daughter made for me. This one has a mushroom and I have another one here. Let me see where's the other one. I have two, let me see. And this one. So I may add, you know, some mini eyelids and do the charms too and i also have for decoration trim laces and full stickers so that's what i have here on the side so let's start with this one and i cut everything already i already gave you measurements but if you don't have the tea bag just you know use cardstock and I cut my cover longer, you see, than my tea bag um, packaging because this is gonna be my um, flap. Okay, so after I glue this down, I will score this and that will be my flat to do the closure. And I think I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use my buttons the full buttons that I had there for my closure. I got those at um, Hobby Lobby. I will show you the package in, in a minute. Let me finish gluing this first. I will show you where they came on. Make sure that this is aligned here. I need some paper towel. I have some glue on my hands. Just a second. For my tea bag, I had to cut some from uh, some pieces. So this is what I had left from my tea bag. So it was the same size of my signature. Then my flap. I think I'm gonna cover this with another piece of paper. And let me get my scraps here. Cause so I don't wanna leave it white like that. And Let me use some of this for this one. And I'm gonna use the same one. Let's see if this is enough, yeah. So I'm just gonna cover a little bit of my tea packaging here. And then I will add my flap, another cover for my flap. And let's cut. here and I'm just gonna score right here where I did my flap I think I'm gonna take more I may need to let me see I may need to um, 
up my signature maybe and I see maybe not may need to score let me do it this way take this out. I don't think I'm not gonna need it. Let's see again. Make sure. We need to cut this a little bit, the tea back a little bit more. I don't mind though because I may use some string and lace. But we need to cut the that a little bit. My paper should be two and a half the same half. So this is the way it's gonna look. And I was thinking to put this here and that will be with a string going around. But I, I don't know yet, but that's my idea. Let me, may need to trim that. I think this is the tea bag. I need to trim it just a little bit. Let me trim this exit here. Let's see. Okay, so let's glue the other one. And I think I'm gonna do a pamphlet stitch, just a regular pamphlet stitch for adding, you know, to add my pages to my notebook. That now is better. It's gonna keep this here. And let's do the same process with this one. Do I want it like this? Yeah. This one I may need to trim a little bit, but it's not that much. So let's glue this one down. You can cover the tea bag packaging inside too, but I, you know, this is the way I want to leave it because I want people to know that this was a tea bag. If you cover it, it's just going to be just a regular cardstock notebook. And the purpose of repurposing this tea bag is for people to know that that's what I'm doing, repurposing a tea bag packaging. So that's why I decided to, you know, use my tea bag as the cover, the inside cover of my notebook cover, is you know what I mean. Perfect, I think I'm gonna use this side. I don't know if I'm gonna add any pockets or stuff, but we will see. I may add a pocket maybe in the back. I, I don't know yet, we will see. So let me use the same thing here. Should have used a different signature for 
this one, but I didn't want to cut any other paper. But if I want pockets or something, I will definitely cut another of my paper and I may change the signature cover for this one. So let me let me use my bone folder to flap this here. I think I have I want to round the corners, but I don't know yet. That's something that I may think later because depending on where I'm gonna. If I'm gonna use trim or what I'm gonna use, I don't know yet. So, so let me smooth this out a little bit. Okay, let me check this one. I think this one is pretty good. Okay, so let me bring this here. I have some uh, what is the embroidery thread? I think it's the name of this. So I had it ready already, but it got off. Okay, so let's add the signatures, the signatures to our little mini notebook. And I'm just gonna do three holes. I'm not gonna measure anything. Just gonna go eyeball it here. Make sure that this is creased. Have like a piece of so I guess I'm gonna do one here. You know what? Let me get my signature. I think I'm gonna use this signature for this one and this one for this one. So I like alternate, right? The colors. I'm gonna make the holes with this already there. I wasn't thinking. It's my paper clip. Let me go ahead and do this one already since I did it already there and then I'm gonna do one right here and I'm just eyeballing I'm not gonna measure anything gonna start in the middle gonna Hold my tail in place here. I'm gonna go to the top. And if you're new to drawing journaling, this is what we call the pamphlet stitch. Let's see if I want this length here. I think so. Then I'm gonna go to the bottom. There's different way to do this. You can also go to the middle and then down. It's gonna go like this. Making sure I don't catch my thread with the needle again. Move it to the side here. Make sure it's tight. And I'm just gonna double knot it. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other one. This is an easy project. If you have everything ready to go, you should be able to do it pretty fast. Sometimes I get carried away when I'm decorating, but hopefully I won't not do that today <laughs> and i think i'm just gonna do a little bow here if i can i 
there. So I have my signature in place for this one. Let's move on to the next one. And we're gonna do the same process. So do I wanna, I think I'm gonna, I want it like this. I get my center here. I know this was measured for the other one, but I don't mind if I, you know, a little bit showing if I need to trim my wheel, but it doesn't bother me, you know? So maybe I will trim a little bit, oh, maybe. Because I don't know if I'm gonna use trim around this, so it don't bother me that much right now. So we'll deal with that later. Let me do my holes. Because, you know, I, I changed the signature, so. Let me see if I can use the same thread here. And we're going to do the same process. Middle, center, and sorry. Up here. And then I'm going to go to the bottom. And back to the center. Whoops. Try that everything is tight. And I'm gonna double knot it. No, I should have, if I'm gonna use the fall bottoms, this one I may leave like this. Here, I should have cover this, my flap later, but I didn't think about it, but let's see. For this one, I have this. I think I, I wanna use I still don't know if I want to use this button as my closure because I don't know if kind of bear with me for a moment, let me see. Because this is what, what I was thinking. I will put this here and then, oh, I didn't show you. This is the bottoms that I got a Hobby Lobby. This one's brand different fall things like, how do you call this? Oh, I forgot, but acorn, pumpkins and leaves. And then this one's mushrooms and they're $3.99 and you can get them half off. So what I was thinking to do is, I was gonna attach this here somewhere and then you, I will add that there and close it like that. Cause I wanted to use this part of my tea bag. So that's what I was thinking. And then for this one, I was gonna use my pumpkin. I may do that, Let, let's, let's do one. Let's, let's do one and see. Well, let's decorate this one. Let me not think about it too much. It's gonna do like two the little hole here to help me with the needle. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I also have some piece of elastic somewhere. This little elastic, but 
I don't know yet if we are gonna use that or this. Let's see. My tray is separating. Let me see if I can. Put it through my needle without separating this too much. Okay, I got it. The scissors are kind of off. Okay, so let's see. I don't know if I want, if I want it like this. I guess we can use it like this. Because I did my hole the wrong way. I mean, let's just use it like this. Let me see something before I cut this. Maybe I can use, hmm, maybe I can use the same trim and go like, like this. Could I leave this like that? Cause I kind of like it. I don't know if I like the pumpkin going like this, but. Let me just worry about the inside right now. See if I can make one more knot. even use this to cover my stream. So let me cut this. Which one do I like better? I think I like the orange ones. I'm not gonna think about it too much. There. And then we are gonna decorate. At least we're gonna decorate one, just in case I don't have time to decorate the other one, but let's decorate this one. For this one, let me get my stickers. I gotta move. Oh, and let me see. I get this and see if I'm gonna use. Just 
think I'm gonna use this. I know I should have done this before, but I didn't know what I was gonna do. So just bear with me. We will get there. Now sometimes I had the idea in my mind, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. So sometimes the ideas just come to me while I'm you know creating. There, I like it, I like that. And then, let's see if I want. Well, okay, kind of pumpkin kind of turn, so I may. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna decorate here. I really don't know if I'm gonna use this then. I'm gonna leave it for, maybe on that one. So let's see. I do. My little pocket here. I don't think I'm gonna try to use the word thankful here on my pocket. to trim it a little bit here. So we're gonna add a pocket there. Let me use my glue gun. And then one here in the back. Not measuring anything. Just I'm eyeballing everything. This is a quick and easy project. I don't want to take too long thinking about it. I know me, I know. You may know me already. I know I can do the little notch, but because here the tank fruit was so close to my, and I think we can do a mini tag. Uh, let me put more glue here, got dry. I think they have a little tack right there. Perfect.
whole bunch are here. I can find them. There's my whole bunch here. I had the smaller one. Let me see if I can get this thing through it. Just gonna add one so you can see our little pocket there. Oh, so cute. Okay, so let's decorate this. I think I'm gonna add my I got this mini, they are, um, let me show you here. It brings 600 pieces of eyelids from the paper studio. They were $9.99 half off. I don't know, it don't say the size, but they're small. So let's use one of these. Look how tiny they are. Look, so tiny. Do I want it on the front? Yeah, let's hang it on the front. <coughs> Excuse me. Still don't know how to use this thing that much yet. Where's the smaller one? So I'm trying to learn. Now my throat is kind of itchy. Let me drink a little bit of water inside. Okay, let's get moving. So I'm still learning how to use this crocodile. This is from Memory Keepers. I know that I say here base, so that's going on the bottom. So I learned that here is a base, and here I had that little point thing. That I know that that's going on the top, and then where it say base, it going on the bottom. So I learned that not that long ago. And I may, I'm gonna add this for now, but I gonna, I may not use this later. I'm just may hang this directly to my, wait, it's not secure yet. You see, still learning how to use this thing. Why? I'm not pressing, let me see now. Maybe I'm not pressing hard enough. I think, no, it was, it was locked a little bit. Okay, so now. Thing now is secure. I was saying that I may know you, uh, for now I'm gonna add this here, but later on I'm gonna ask my daughter to put the jump ring directly to my eyelid, because I like it better like without the ball pin. But I just wanted to add it now right there. But this i'm gonna remove it later and i'm gonna open the jump room i don't think that i'm gonna do it i'm gonna be able to do it manually let me see because she's the one that works with the beads and stuff but let me see maybe i will be able oh yeah
see if I can close it again. I think I got it. Ugh, better. I like it better like that, but I may change the I this the jump ring for one smaller, like the other one where it's in. See this one have a smaller jump rim. I like these ones better, the smaller ones. But for now it's fine. Let's Let me take some things out of the way. Okay, so let's see. This is how it looks so far. I think I wanna add something here. You can leave it like this and just go around and close it. Like that and you have your notebook, but I feel like I need something here. So let me see what I want. And I definitely want a smaller jump rim here. I like this. Let me open this one and see. I kind of like it like this now. I don't know. I don't know how I like it. If I like it better like this, like a regular notebook. Oh, if I like it like this with this hanging here. And then decorate here like this. I kind of like this, like that. like it like that so I'm gonna go this way let me not think about it too much maybe I should use one of these little foam animals let's see See, this is the problem with me when I'm gonna decorate. That's where I get the problem. Trying to see if I can get some. There's a little bit of cheesecloth here.
Maybe you know what? I think I know what I'm gonna do. Just gonna add a sentiment and I'm gonna leave this one like that because I kind of like it simple like that. If I have something that goes with maybe happy memories or maybe Maybe this one, make every day count. I think that's good. Yeah, I like that. That's what we're gonna do. It's gonna trim this here. my glue gun. My daughter is around because she's going on vacation to Texas with her dad before the hurricane hit Florida. I don't know if you have watched on the news, but we have a Hurricane coming our way. We are getting ready. I just came from my country, Puerto Rico, and I was there when Fiona hit Puerto Rico. Now I'm back in Florida, <laughs> and there's another hurricane coming my way. But, you know, it is what it is. We're getting ready here now. My daughter was leaving on the weekend, but her father, her dad, live in Texas, so he decided to move the flight up earlier so she can, you know, leave. So I had to take her to the airport five o'clock in the morning. So that's why I decided to do a, a, a tutorial right now because I don't know if later on I'm going to be able to do tutorial. And since I came from Puerto Rico, I don't know, it has been, I don't know if the world should be lazy or I, I, I wasn't motivated to do any tutorial lately. I don't know why, but... I say I have to do a tutorial. I came back last week. Well, this week, right? Tuesday this week. So it's time for me to do a tutorial. I kind of like it, but I want to trim this here. It's a little piece of orange thin. I love it. I wish I can do the other one, but we're already 49 minutes into the tutorial. So I'm gonna do the other one. No, off camera, but you already got the idea. And then close it. All right, my trim, my thread is, and I think I'm gonna trim this. Right there. Man, look how cute. So let me get all this out of the way. I have too many things going on around me here. So 
so we can see our little notebook. I'm just gonna put my things aside, my needle here, because I'm gonna use it for the bottom for the other one. Just a little bit, I, I'm not gonna move everything, but just so we can. Okay, so this is a regular notebook without decoration or anything. This is our pages. Our little tea bag. I really love this idea. And I really like this one going this way. I may do this one sideways like this, but I really like how this one turned out. And I like my little charm hanging here. So this is our little notebook. Tea bag mini notebook. And I'm gonna add another tab on the front. I don't think that on my pages I'm gonna add anything, pockets or anything, because this is a notebook. So I don't wanna add anything, but here on the pocket I do gonna add another tag or maybe a mini journaling card, but I think I'm gonna do a tag because I like this hanging here. So, so this is it for tonight. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, and please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, could you do that today? Subscribe to my channel, leave me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and that way YouTube will notify, you know, know that you like my tutorials and other people will find my channel. If you haven't um, hit that notification bell, you can do that too. And YouTube will notify you every time that I upload a new video. And sorry if my room is a little dark. It's been raining a lot um, and it's night. So hopefully the light name for this one is not that bad. Um, I will make sure that I will record my videos during the day for this week until, you know, the, um, hopefully God will move that hurricane away, you know, away from us and everybody else. But for now, that's what we have. So please keep me on your prayers. I will keep everyone on my prayers too. And happy crafting everyone. See you in the next tutorial.